Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is your boy, P. Ross. Once again, back in the building with another one. Um, first of all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on my social media pages at Instagram and at TikTok. We are definitely in the building. But right now, but what we're going to be talking about is the Belova Meal Ships. Now, right off top, I think that this is a beautiful watch. I seen somebody in the comments when I had did kind of the unboxing on it say it was mid. I have to 100% disagree with that. I think this is one of the best Belova releases within the last however many years you want to say. You know what I mean? And the product description goes as brand new to the archive series. The Mill Ships W2181 is based on a prototype that was never commercially launched. And the first time watch enthusiasts will have the opportunity to own this luxury timepiece. The sports watch was inspired by a timepiece developed for the U.S. Navy. So not only does it have a watch history, okay, it has a military history as well. And its unique paper strip, which is located right above the marker for six o'clock on the dial that indicates moisture has entered the watch and will change color should the water resistance up to 200 meters ever starts to fail. Another unique feature of this watch is the top ring will only rotate once when it is pressed down. The black matte dial is set into a stainless steel case and has a slate blue NATO strap. Now, the NATO is something I'll get into later with y'all. But for the most part, you know what I mean? The lug width in between is like 16 millimeters. I did have reservations about this at first because I felt like it was kind of small. But when I got it, I felt totally different about it. Now, here's the NATO. I'm not really fond of the NATO. You know what I mean? I feel like I need to get a, another type of NATO for this watch. I don't necessarily think the blue contrasts well with the black dial and all that. But it is pretty solid to be a NATO. You know what I mean? So I can't really complain about that. But um, I'll definitely be trying to find another NATO strap for this watch. Now, there is another type of version of the meal ships that is going for almost $2,000. And this particular one has a SW200 movement inside. Now this particular meal ships, it has a Miyota 82S0 in it. You know what I'm saying? It baffles me to why they're not using the 9000 series for this, but hey, it is what it is. The case width is 41 millimeters. And again, the lug width is 16 millimeters. I am definitely gonna get a better NATO strap for this. Um, the dial is black with luminous hands and markers. Um, the case material is silver tone stainless steel. The crystal is an anti-reflective double dome sapphire crystal, which I think looks great. And the water resistance again is 200 meters. So you definitely don't have to worry about getting in the pool, getting in, you know, the shower, worrying about the water resistance of this watch. You should be 100% safe. And then overall for me, the black dial, the indices, even the bezel rotation is something that I think is awesome on this watch. You know what I mean? You press down on the bezel, it's bi unidirectional, so you can turn it either way. You know what I mean? This thing is crazy. And look at the back, you know what I'm saying, of this watch. You can't get no better than this, okay? But Lova really stuck their foot in the pot when they brought this one out, all right? So yo, check this out on the wrist. <sighs> Again, the only thing I think is really killing it is the NATO strap. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? The watch itself is perfect to me. You know what I mean? So yo, check this out. This your boy P. Ross. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about the meal ships. And we out. Peace.